You're fidgeting like a child. Have you never put on a jacket before? Not one this tight. If the coat is a problem, flesh is always a good color on you. The council would love that. Your scars, quite the conversation piece. This one is from a feisty young basilisk, and that one is from the fangs of a bruxa, and this one I gave myself just to fill the unmod space on my pectoral region. That one's from you. You bit me. You deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, this is tight. Okay, well, rain check then. You really don't want to go, do you? I'm not meant for balls. Me neither. Yeah, well, you're exactly meant for balls. I was built for them, yes. Yes, look at you. I wasn't always like this. The face, the hair, the... And now I have to maraud around a room full of mages who can't wait to see me fail. Yennefer. You know, all my friends want to fuck you. <laughs> well, you should have led with that. We'll be lucky if Sabrina is even wearing part of a shirt. You can trust Triss will steal looks at you all night, and I'll let her because that girl deserves some happiness. I'd like to think even Vilgefortz will all go at your pronounced posterior, all while parading his Alvin minx just to appear shocking. Let's be honest, that's so last century. Oh, and what of you parading your witcher? I don't parade you for shock value. I parade you because you're ridiculously attractive. Proving that I didn't fail. Is that a lamb to you? A pawn? No. Look at us. We're the original power couple. <laughs> right. I kill monsters and you make them. I'm one of the good ones. Just ignore the rest of them. Can I get drunk and punch him instead? Will you shut up and wear your ill-fitting coat? Yes. Then yes. You can drunk punch my colleagues. Just do it outside and make sure it's not someone I care for. Shouldn't be too difficult. I hate everyone except for you. Justice once. It is against policy, your highness. It will be our secret then. The Brotherhood doesn't have to know. It's against my policy. Surely you could make an exception for me. Pretty please. No, thank you. Kodi creer krim ilaur. Do you feel weightless? Or do you feel every one of your fatty repulsive pounds pulling you to your death? Not that your feelings matter, really, since I'm the one holding you up. I'm also the one who will drop you as soon as I tell you my feelings. The way you eat your breakfast is revolting. Cream in your whiskers. And the people who hate you most, your entire kingdom, it's safe to say, they don't even see that side of you. They hate you for their own reasons. How you've been abandoning their needs while gilding your gates. None of that bothers me, by the way. Really, it's just the creamy whiskers and the muffin crumbs that get stuck in there. Truly, it makes me want to vomit. And then, there's the way you creep. Always creeping. Into the beds of chambermaids who do not want to clean your dip with their bodies. Creep, creep, creep. <laughs> Bear in mind, I have no qualms with any of that, really. Again, creamy whiskers. But then, on top of it all, you're just very, very dumb. <laughs> and then, while taking a walk so that I could advise your feeble mind on acts of war, you ask if you can touch my breast? My response was a polite no thank you. But the takeaway, your highness, is that you are in the palm of my hand. <laughs> I'm going back to work. <laughs>